down there in the front. Long here. Yeah, that'll do. These chairs are very comfortable. to the silver screen cinema at Oakston. At some point in our lives, everybody visits the cinema. But if you've wondered what actually happens behind the scenes, we're here today at Oakston to find out. February the 18th, 1988, saw the closure of the Cannon Cinema of Folkestone, the last remaining cinema out of 15 which used to be in the town. Shortly after the demolition of the cinema, plans were unveiled for a new twin screen cinema. The new cinema to be sited in the former town hall, with plans to seat 600 people. The man behind the venture, cinema entrepreneur Sandy Wallace, planned to convert the upper part of the former town hall into a plush 1930s style cinema, Shepway District Council, under tight restrictions as the site was a listed building. Work commenced November the 5th, 1988, with builders being careful to keep the original features and characteristics intact. After three years, the Silver Screen Cinema was ready to open its doors in March 1990, and has received great attendance ever since. Well, as an usherette, I um, sell tickets on the kiosk and I work on the um, foyer selling sweets and popcorn and show people to their seats. I like the way the cinema has been designed. It's very classy compared to other cinemas I've been to. Perks, yeah. Um, we get to see the films free, and we go to Dover and see the films over there as well. And we get a bonus as well at the end of the summer, which is quite nice. The way the cinema's been set out mm. and the way it's been decorated. And that concludes our tour of the Silver Screen Cinema.